Repetition is the key to the human superpower. That's why humans are so capable of doing what they've done. That's why we have phones and we have physics, we have wrestling, we have all these things where like one human starts and where one like leaves off, where like it can take someone years years to figure something out and wherever that person left off the next generation can come back pick up where they left off learn it very quickly and build on it and this is through the power of repetition this is through like wherever that person left off by repeating the same motions and movements that they do for example when you have math homework all right your teacher teaches you something in math that took hundreds of years to figure out all right in one class then he sends you home he gives you homework so that you repeat the process you repeat like completing it and seeing the end result over and over and over again by doing like 50 problems or whatever and then by the end you're proficient at it and you know how to do it right even though it took the first person to do it hundreds of years so if there's someone in college or there's some or there's an olympian teaching you something or there's moves that olympians do you can learn them very very easily and you can become proficient at them just like they are we have for wrestling we have tools like the internet coaching camps like a bunch of different stuff but the key to all of it is taking what they teach you and repeating it over and over and over again okay so when you learn a peterson you have to know exactly what the point of everything you're doing is right you have to build your hips up to create space from their hips you have to walk out to create even more space and then you roll on your shoulders so your hips are in the air and they twist and square up with your opponent and then you can get up okay th this move took forever but if the first time you do it perfectly if the first time you focus on doing it perfectly then every time that you do it that same way you will not only get faster but you will get better at it and the more you think about doing it the more you think about specific moves in wrestling the more time you spend thinking about it the better you'll get at it the quicker you'll be the more proficient this is something that they teach you in j-rob this is like they have you visualize every single day and this is one of those things that it's amazing how good you can get at random things just by thinking about it a lot if you want to learn how to weld you can watch hours and hours of video you, like you can perfect it like very very easily it just matters about how many times you repeat the process how many times let's say your teacher teaches you how to spot weld you have to pay very close attention to everything he's doing but if you repeat that process if you pay very close attention you ask questions and you figure it out once and you just keep on repeating it you will become amazing at it by the hundredth time that's why when your coach teaches you something right let's say he teaches you whatever move and he tells you to do it three times each he's gonna tell you guys when to come back and stop instead of only doing it three times because that's what bad wrestlers do you need to do it as many times as you can all right in the air force they make you get out of bed let me make you wake up at five get out of bed make your bed and like go on a run or whatever you do and they make you come back go to bed and do it over again they make you do it 10 times and then after about the 10th time your body gets the idea your body understands like every time i wake up i make my bed and then i go do this thing it's the same thing with wrestling when like when you drill a position and you're in that position in a live match if you drill it a lot it will just happen it, like it's on you're on complete autopilot you don't have to think about it it just happens like when you're in the western hook if you drill the stack right if every time somebody's hands get a little bit like this and you drill it with resistance every time somebody's hands get like this and you're in a western hook you're gonna hit a stack every time you're in position to throw a leg in you'll throw a leg in it just matters about the quality of your repetition the quality of your partner resisting right because if you practice with resistance in a match it's gonna feel very familiar it's like it's gonna be like i've done this before i've been here like i know what to do and you're just gonna do it you don't have to think about it it just happens it's just with the power of repetition that like that is the human superpower we can repeat something over and over and over again until we get amazing at it and anything that anyone else has learned we can pick it up super quickly super super quickly it just matters if we're willing to put the time in to repeatedly do it over and over and over again perfectly it's the same thing with school right if you're having trouble in a class you have to go over the material over and over and over and over again you have to keep on failing and failing and failing until you get it right but you like if somebody else has gotten it right you are capable of getting it right if that makes sense i was gonna make a i was gonna make a match review today but i got strep throat and i've been sleeping all day so i'll probably post it tomorrow yeah keep that in mind when you're in practice if your coach teaches you something and he tells you to drill it a certain amount of times throw that out the window and just drill it as many times as you can 
as hard as you can with resistance, but make sure the first time you do it perfectly. And then every time after that, you'll speed up and you'll improve on it. You just have to, you have to want to improve. You have to want to do it. It can't be like, oh, we're doing technique. You have to push yourself to do it. All right, if you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna post another match review tomorrow, but until next time, I'll see you guys.